walk into the car, heading to work. Weather's nice outside. Got a fresh pair of clean socks to put on. I get the work socks, the thick double cushion sole socks that you can get at, um, <laughs> you can get them at um, Walmart. They're good socks, they last for a long time. I buy them like 10 at a time, 10 pair. And then eight months, nine months later, buy another 10 pair. So they last a long time, but you want double cushion soles. There's always some kind of activity on this street. It's a busy street. Get out of the sun. And it is time to, oh, I see my car, walk across the street. I couldn't see it from the angle. Go to work, make some money, and I'm probably going to stay and do a double tonight. And uh, the goal for me right now is to at least get 400 a week. So we get paid every Friday. If I can get that check up to 400 a week, I'm happy because that covers all my bills. And that's really all it's about for me right now. Because uh, eventually down the line, I'll become a driver, which is the goal. And when I become a driver, I'll make a lot more money. But until that happens, you just do your best. I can give a damn about what people think about my income or social status or um, what kind of car I drive or what kind of clothes I wear or whatever. I don't give a damn about any of that stuff. I think everybody has to do their best and if you're a doctor do your best if you're a lawyer do your best if you're in the military do your best and if you are a um, UPS package handler do your best life will throw you curveballs sometimes you go up and down you can get married and then get divorced have kids join the military maybe get your leg blown off there's a lot of stuff that happens to different people and the last thing you need is to be judged by anybody about your circumstances in life. The way you feel about you matters a lot better, a lot more than the way others feel about you. You have to take yourself's, yourself's mental health and physical health as a priority far more than what you think about what others think about you. If you're worried about what others think about you all the time, then you're you're vain you're suffering from vanity because you're worried about the coolest clothes and all that kind of stuff just do you man do you do your thing be kind to yourself be kind to others but whatever you do for a living that's fine i don't care if you're a waiter you're a bartender a cop whatever it is just do the best be the best at it and do it with a smile um in great britain england whatever you want to call it they take servitude very highly to a high level. They, um, a butler is a prestigious position if you're over there. But in America, we have this thing where it's like, oh, you're a servant. So what? That's what Jesus is. Jesus came down to serve us. Came down as a man. King of kings. He taught us humility by his example. And now we can do the same thing and serve. Serve one another with dignity, with respect and love and kindness and compassion, not judgment. And on that note, I'm going to cut this off because I got to go to work. And I got about 30 minutes to get there. And uh, I'll give you updates if there are any. There's not a whole lot of updates really because um, nothing's going on other than the daily grind of just going in and making money and working as hard as I can. There is a job board posting of different jobs. Now on that, I can take some video shots of it, of the board, and show you guys what it's all about, like the cover drivers and um, different jobs within the hub. But like I've told everybody, when you get hired at UPS, nine times out of 10, you're going to be a package handler some type of a package handler meaning you're going to be an unloader or a loader and 
it, if you want to come in as directly as a supervisor, they do hire directly for supervision. They will train you. I think the schooling for the su new supervisors is about three weeks. So there is that if you want to do that. I don't want to do that. More power to the people who want to be supervisors. Um, it's, a, it's a good job. They get paid pretty well. and They don't have union protection and they can't drive, which are two things for me that are important. They do have medical and dental benefits, but from what I understand, it does cost them uh, out of their own pocket a pretty good amount of money. I don't know how much. I can't. I can't say because I'm not a supervisor, so I can't speak to it. But I do know they they do get medical, dental, and vision, but they have to pay for it, and I don't know how much it costs. For the package handlers or anybody else working in the hub, the drivers, whatever, we get great medical dental vision benefits without having it to come out of our pocket so if you need surgery or procedures and you've been at UPS for nine months or longer you're covered and then we have union protection which is another reason why UPS is a good company because they have a Teamsters union uh, set up to where if you have a grievance or some kind of a concern you have that the union does have its own like retirement pension plan that I think you can pay into. I don't know how that works. I'll find out if you want to know. Then UPS as a whole is has a pension. You can get a pension, a retirement from UPS. Work there for enough years, you're fully vested, you'll get a pension. On top of that, then there's a 401k, which is something you pay into separately. However much you want to put into it, it's up to you. Me, it's going to be $25 a week, which is 100 bucks a month, which is basically what I was paying for my union dues anyway. So, boom, there you go. It's not like it's, it's not going to change what I'm used to getting every week, except for I'm working more hours. So, I, I highly recommend using the 401k. It's it's another way to save. Then, on top of that, if you have enough points for your Social Security, that's another method to earn money. And then, if you become a driver, you can work 10, 11 hours a day, which is a typical driver's day you're gonna make pretty good money as a driver you know like a typical driver makes over a hundred thousand dollars a year it's for me it's not about becoming rich if that's your goal I don't know hit the lottery become a doctor or whatever I don't know for me it's just about being a hard worker paying my taxes paying my bills saving up money taking vacations enjoying life live life to the full pay my tithe all the charitable donations and UPS does have a charity donation program so if you want to give money out of your check to a local charity you pick one and then you do it and then they take out whatever sum you say dollar a week five dollars a week whatever you decide ten dollars a week it's up to you and that's a cool thing that UPS does I think that's awesome it's not mandatory you don't have to give money to charities I believe it's a good idea and I think it's good to do so because when you give there's this, just this rule people who are generous tend to get things back being a generous person is a good idea I, I believe whether you're a man or a woman young or old tall or short black or white or Asian or Hispanic being generous is a beautiful thing so quick little video right here as I'm driving to work I'm gonna get there put on my work shoes and my back brace which is right here protect myself as much as I can put on my clean socks and take a stick of juicy fruit gum pop it in put on my mask which is also right here and then just work I'm gonna work about six hours now if I stay I'm gonna stay an extra two six plus two is what eight it'll be an eight hour a day and that's it so or actually I'm, we're not starting today until 545 so and I usually get off at 11 so it won't be a full 8 it'll be like 7 hours and 15 minutes but that's cool it's still better than 5 hours and 15 minutes give me those extra 2 hours because after 11 o'clock what I what I want to do is stay until 1 and I stay over and I work upstairs so that's how that works any questions let me know I'm gonna keep it quick I'm driving peace today is Thursday tomorrow's Friday it's still the month of September stay stay healthy everybody stay positive uh, get up and get to work on time too now all this uh, unemployment insurance is kind of waning get a job there's a lot of jobs a friend of mine just uh, got an interview for a railroad 
Uh, railroads have unions. Railroad being a railroad railroad worker is a good company as well because they make pretty doggone good money. They have good benefits. They take care of their people and their union, and there's a good career there. And if you become an engineer, rail railroad engineers make really crazy money, like two hundred and fifty thousand a year. If you're a good engineer and you work a lot of hours, it's another one of those old school, last of the few jobs that has that type of high pay with all you need is a high school diploma type thing. UPS, all you need is a high school diploma. Police officer, firefighter, high school diploma. There's not that many jobs anymore where you have a high school diploma and you can get in there and get a good career like police, fire, UPS, railroad, military. You can go in the military, join the army or the Marines or the Navy, age 17 or 18 with just a high school diploma and then do 20 years or 25 years and retire as a master sergeant or a first sergeant or a sergeant major which is a high rank and it's good pay and then you get a pension from the military for the rest of your life after just doing 20 years and then you can go work somewhere else another great but you gotta you gotta suck it up for 20 years and be a be a warrior go out there and run five miles and do a lot of push-ups and you know take orders give orders travel overseas when they tell you to go you gotta go deploy you gotta put up with that kind of stuff but it's a beautiful thing being in the military I enjoyed it so you have options like that and if you work for UPS and you're in the military you're in the reserves when you go deploy if you go overseas for a year to serve your country UPS holds your job and your seniority still goes up as though if you were still there so there's that so yeah you, you get some benefits there being a UPS worker if you're in the Army Navy Air Force Marines Coast Guard Space Force in the reserves you can for sure for sure um, serve your country and still be a UPS package handler or a UPS driver whatever whatever you do at UPS they will honor your service and give you the time off you need and that's another beautiful thing so I big up to UPS on that salute to them on that and uh, I am like five minutes away from my UPS job and yet I am still 19 minutes early it's a beautiful thing all right so that's all I got and I uh, just want to say that because let's keep it quick for you guys. And then this is Thursday. So tomorrow is Friday, which is the end of my nine weeks. And then so next week is 10 weeks in. Uh, at the end of next week, Friday, I'm fully like past the probationary period. And then I'm full, fully vested into the union already. So then you're a complete employee, like with all the protections of the union. And, you know, they got to take it easy on you, even though they already, they just want you to work. They're not tripping. It's. You just, the main thing is they want a hard worker who's going to show up on time and not call off sick. You're not going to miss a whole bunch of days because of whatever reason you, and you're going to be there you know, on time reasonably, five minutes early or on time. If you could show that for 70 days, you got yourself a career. All right, that's all I got enough to say about that. Hopefully you get the job and if you got the job, Holler at me, let me know what you think. I know a guy just commented who's been there for a long time. He got hired in the 70s. And he said it took him like years, like 10 years before he could get, become a driver. So thanks for commenting. He's got some good things to say because he's been with UPS for a long time. I think he said he got hired in 1976. And he's a driver. So big ups to him for, for saying, sharing his experiences. Uh, he was like saying that we're fortunate now because most hubs you can become a driver within five years. At this hub I'm at, it's a newer hub. I might have to wait a year, which is a huge blessing. So thanks a lot for the comment. I can't think of his name. I'll get it and I'll, I'll talk about him in the next video. But if you guys work at UPS or you just got hired or you just started or you're about to start, holler, comment, share, like, subscribe. Tell me what you got, what you're going through, what it's like. What hub are you at? Are you in New York, L.A., San Diego? Are you in the California area, Texas area? Let me know. And then I just got this hat. It's kind of cool. I'm a retired Marine. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.